students. Today I'm going to be showing you how to access the Digo app, which is an extension that allows you to annotate and save uh, web pages and to highlight content on web pages as well as um, add notes and information for yourself or a group of students if you're working on a research project. So if you're on a Chromebook, you're going to click down here and start typing web or find the web store. And when that comes up, you're going to type in D-I-I-G-O for Digo. And Digo has been around for a while. It's a web collector capture and annotate. So you're going to click here and you're going to select add to Chrome and add the extension. It'll do a quick download and check. And you'll see that extension will show up here now added to Chrome. When you go to your extensions and select Digo, you're going to click sign in and select via Google account. And you'll include your Edina Google. And that will give you this component. Now, if you'd like to learn more about how to use Digo, this is a great little tutorial and information that can help you learn that. But if I go to any web page, so I'm going to come back here and I'm going to go to um, a web page. Let's say it's the Star Tribune site today. And when I'm on the Star Tribune site, if I click on Digo, one of my options is to save the bookmark. I can read and annotate. And so for right now, I'm going to start by saving the bookmark. And let's say this was for a research project. I might save the bookmark and I can add tags, news, and maybe I'm doing it on coronavirus or whatever it happens to be, I can put in that information. You can uncheck private or keep it checked if it's just for yourself. And you can select the saving preferences and hit save. And now you'll note that I have some annotation tools. So as I come down here and let's say I want to highlight some text, highlight. There it goes. They pop up. And I can also, as I'm clicking on those highlights, another option is that I can add a sticky note. And that selection can't be highlighted. Let me come down to another part of it. I can add a sticky note. It will highlight that text. For example, I can put notes, information, maybe I want to add this to a specific uh, research paper that I'm doing. And so now I can save it. And then when I come back to my Digo library, I'll see that that article is now showing here in my notes, any highlights that I've made and any notes that I've made show up right here. And so this is a nice way as you're going through and doing research on something that you can get the information and have that, uh, your notes and research all linked here. So hopefully this helps. Have a great day.